Hi, this is Pickle Pong Deb. Today's episode is Nasty Nancy Revisited. And I have the real nasty with me today. This is Na Nasty Nancy Nowak. And we've been playing partners for about four years, off and on at relative tournaments. And Nancy is one of the nicest women I know, as well as one of the smartest players I know. So we're going to show you what Nasty Nancy likes to do. Nasty Nancy won. Assume I'm on the left side of the court and I'm dropping diagonal to my opponent's backhand side. The Nasty Nancy won is a cut drop to the opposite side, short. Therefore, the person doing the drop has to scramble to get the short ball. And usually, because they're off balance and they have to hustle for it, they're going to pop it up for Nasty Nancy's partner to put it away. Here we go. Nasty Nancy won. Nasty Nancy 2 is assume we're dinking at the non-volley zone. This Nasty Nancy is going to put it over my head. I don't like it a bit, mostly because I'm short, and if it's over my head, I can't reach it. And in, in the 55-plus community, a bump lob is a terrific shot to get your opponents off the net. Here's Nasty Nancy 2. Nasty Nancy 3 is say you have a volley and we're dinking straight across, okay, and she puts it to the outside of the forehand side. So it's going to look like this, inside out, inside out. Nasty Nancy one was the cut drop. Nasty number two was the bump lob or the lob off the dink. Nasty number three was the inside out redirect, usually a backhand. But you can also do that as a forehand, and Nancy's done it. Nance, when do you use these things? Well, the most important part of when you use these is you have to have a good dink, a very good dink. To, it cannot be behind you. It's got to be in front of you. So that's the most important thing. The second most important thing is reading where the players are on the other side of the net. When you see them move one way, it opens it up to either cut it this way or the other way. Good, good. Thank you, Nasty. <laughs>